my name is Jean, and we're with KC Media, and we're also with a crew of Pretty. So then, how long did it take for you to film this all together, and you know, from from the beginning process, writing? Um, well, actually, I didn't even want to make this film at all until Kita came to me, and he ha he told me he had an idea for a really great short. So I heard him out, and we met over a lot of coffee breaks, and we just kind of started getting his idea of this comic strip that he had, and we developed it into a story. And that took about like two weeks, and then we shot it. Um, so we wrote the script in two weeks, and then we shot it in one day, even though it was supposed to be two days. So uh, we just kind of like plow through it, and then we edited it for like two weeks. About two weeks. How was that? Um, I was af South. afterwards. Um, to tell about with editing, and it took about two weeks. Uh, I worked on it every single day with Jin, um, and basically, when I saw the, the film, it didn't really have like a kind of a comic book type part. It only had like a sketchbook. But I thought, hey, this would be a great uh, sequence for a comic book part to the film. Well, um, basically, it's about two girls. Um, they are captive girls in a possible sex trafficking ring, and they're in a room. And the first girl, she's a younger one. She gets thrown in and she has no idea what she's in for. So we're playing with the idea of innocence and innocence lost. So the other girl, the one in red, she's supposed to symbolize like the, the girl that's been there for a while and kind of knows the system. And when the younger girl asks to be like a part of her world, the older girl rejects her. So, you know, you're left thinking like the older girl is mean. But in the end you start realizing that she's just trying to protect her. And um, and the younger girl's innocence is also symbolized by her drawings compared to the older girl's drawings. And you're going in and out from like real realism to like magical realism and this kind of fantasy world that they both created. And it's kind of also like you know they're they're kind of in this captive world and they're trying to find anything really to help them free. You know, so they're looking for hope in anything that they can. And really, all there is in that room is a comic book, a sketchbook, and fuchsia lipstick so, and a black eyeliner, so they got to just make do with what they got to do. Was the fuchsia lipstick your idea? Yes, it was. I insisted on the fuchsia. I thought it would uh, go well with her skin and the red dress, and because I did the artwork, I felt I should consult a little bit on that area. <laughs> no, but, um, honestly, the idea was just a really small idea that I gave to Jin, and Jin and Jay just took it in a great direction. and. Uh, it was just great to see the artwork on the screen, and but more than that, it was great to see the fuchsia lipstick because, you know, that was you chose <laughs> it. It's, it's, it. It goes well with your skin yeah, tone, right? He's really modest. Like, yeah. When he came to me with this idea, he it was like I I had no inspiration to make a film until he came to me with this idea. So I give him a lot of props. Well, you know, and in, 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 in saying that, you said you didn't even want to make this film. Like, did you make it specifically for the Talent One Media uh, um, Film Festival, or? Um, so basically, yeah, this is basically for Talent One Media, but hopefully it'll get to other film festivals too. Yeah, well, congratulations on finishing it. You know, especially when you didn't even want to start in the first place. And good luck to this, you know, just the future of this film, and hopefully it'll reach a lot of audiences. So thank you. Oh, 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 oh,